Good morning, welcome to Living Local. So we are here with my good friend Bree, and she is a magician with calligraphy. <laughs> She's like one of the most creative artistic people that I know. So whenever we had a spot open, I was like, Bree, will you show me how to do calligraphy? <laughs> so, um, and of course, she was like, yes, of course, because she's always sweet. So, Bree, I know that you've taught calligraphy classes before. Um, and you're gonna, I don't know how good I'm gonna be at this. This looks <laughs> quite complicated with all this different stuff. What are some of these tools you have set up for us? Absolutely, so I have taught many classes in the past. I've probably taught 150 people or so. Oh wow. So I was doing that straight for a few years and then I started getting into invitations and everything more. So now I kind of would do it more privately sure. or have a group of eight or so girls. Like it's great if they have wine and calligraphy yeah, and it's a yeah. fun little night out for the girls but um yes yeah, so what we'll do today is a little bit of writing and i'll show you some of the pens and everything okay. so, this looks really fancy is this the pen that i'm writing with that is the pen you will use i use those all the time this one's just a little fancier it reminds me version. of a protractor like i should do this with it. <laughs> that is called an oblique pen okay and it's a little different so you would use an oblique pen because you're right-handed, is what you told me yesterday. Okay, yes. And this little extra piece on the side, mm -hmm. that is what gives you a slant when you're writing with right-handed. Oh. So, are you right-handed too, or are you left? I'm right-handed. You're right-handed too? So, with this pen, if you were a left-handed person, you would write like this. Because when you have a left wow. hand, you already have a, a natural slant to your wrist. Really? So, these are called nibs. I've given you two nibs to try today. Nibs. So how you want to do it? Okay, help me. <laughs> put your pen on the on the table with this on the left, a little extra. Yep. And so your nib should be facing up. So that little hole is called the vent should be facing directly up. Just so you see how the nib works a little bit, whenever you press down on it, the little tines separate. So that is where the <gasps> ink flow is. So that's the whole Whoa, way that it works. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so this point has a little slit in the middle and it separates into two, mm -hmm. which you don't see that, but once you push down on it, it separates open. Where And you're saying that's where it holds the ink in mm -hmm. between that. That's so crazy. When we dip the pen into our ink, that's why it's called dip pen calligraphy, because you're using ink and a nib. Huh. Um, other, like brush lettering, you would be using a pen that has a felt tip. Right. And so, and you might have done some of that mm -hmm. stuff. You never. haven't done that either? No, never. Oh, nothing. I have those in the back if you the want most, to. <laughs> the most I've done is those little pens you can get at Walmart that are just uh -huh. like thick and, you know, and they're like, yeah, you can do calligraphy. Oh, the chiseled ones? Yeah, you know, they're, they're just. They're not for me. They're just. <laughs> I have um, to be extra. They're, <laughs> they're fake, you know, they, but they make you feel fancy. That so. is their problem. So this is a little workbook that I do for all my classes. You can take it home and practice. This is pretty cool. Did you create this whole book? I did. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is awesome. So let's jump to the little warm up page and I'll just show you the basics. Okay. And so how you hold the pen, you kind of want to have your finger in this little crevice. You're just kind of holding it. It's kind of balanced just straight into your hand and you're more pushing and pulling it than then like straight down. down. Yeah. Because if you did flip it up, like if it was more like that, it's going to flick your ink. So your hard strokes, this first, the difference between this thicker stroke and this thin stroke is the pressure. So every time you would be going down, you're applying pressure. That gives you that thick stroke. So your mm -hmm. tines are separating and you're getting more ink on mm -hmm. the page. The thin strokes are when you're going up. Really? So that is going from the bottom to the top and wow. that is, you don't apply pressure. So that gives you a very thin stroke. Wow. So let's dip this our pen in the my ink. Mind. <laughs> okay, so how much do we dip in here? So I do it right to the top of the vent. Of this and thing. that's the okay. little hole that's there. So that holds your ink. So just start with some of the thick lines. The start ones. at the top and then just pull it down. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Got a few practice lines and then you can just keep going. Can you just keep going with it? Yeah. You this got is a the nice slant thing. to it and everything. 